The development of Plasma is quite aggressive, and generally you'll find that Kubuntu is out of date very quickly. I mean, it was out of date within a matter of uh, a few days after release, or was it actually just prior to release this time on Kubuntu 17.10? But hey, this is what's happened. So to get the backports repository, you need the command sudo add apt repository ppa colon kubuntu hyphen ppa forward slash backports and there'll be a note of these commands in the video description. So yes, I would like to add that. Then at sudo apps update. And we've got a long list of packages which can be upgraded. And to mix it up a little bit on the commands, I'm going to use sudo apt get dist hyphen upgrade. And yes, that's quite a long list, so yeah, go for it. Now a word on the differences between the versions of Plasma you'll get for each version of Kubuntu. So the interim versions of Kubuntu will get the latest stable release of the Plasma desktop, and at time of recording we have version 5.11.2 in Artful. Although I'm running version 5.11.3 in KD Neon, but that is another story. I've got a video comparing the two of those. Anyway, the long-term support release of Kubuntu, which is currently Xenial, which is 16.04, receives the long-term support release of the Plasma desktop. And in this instance, we have 5.8.8. .8. So you will get a slightly different version of the Plasma desktop, depending which version of Kubuntu you're running. Upon completion, I could do a reboot in the system. I don't think logging out and logging back in is going to quite do the job properly. Might be wrong there, but let's play it safe, and I don't need to type in my password this way around. Well, that's promising, everything still looks the same. So what have we got in the K-Info Center? So KDE Plasma version 5.11.2, so that is newer than you would get on the stock release of Kubuntu 17.04. Now that does open me up to features such as the vaults. But anyway, that is how you install the Kubuntu Backports repository and get a newer version of the Plasma desktop. And thanks for watching, I'll see you all later.